So here we are, pristine build of Windows 10, nothing but Google Chrome installed. Uh, freshly, freshly installed Windows. So we start with the gear icon, we head up to system, and we come down to power and sleep, and we set the screen sleep uh, time to never. Now, down here normally would be where the PC sleep time is, but that's not there because this is a virtual machine, but you'll want to set that one as well. Again, normally there will be two settings there. So with those set, we go to the start flag and we click the gear again. And we head on over to apps. And under apps, we uh, might need to drag it out a little to the right here before we'll see the programs and features there on the right. If you don't drag it out to the right, I believe it appears at the very bottom. But if you pull it to the right enough, you should see it there. So then we come over here on the left to turn Windows features on or off. And as you can see, the .NET framework is not installed. Now, this is likely actually optional. But I like to pre-install the .NET 3.5 framework because the LotRo installer actually asks for it. Uh, and by pre-installing it, we won't get that little pop-up in the middle of the LotRo install. Um, Windows 10, though, comes with... Uh, we're speeding up here. So we're skipping ahead here. Uh, actually comes with .NET 4.7. And it's probably pretty likely that you don't actually need to install the .NET framework. And during the install, you could actually tell the LotRo installer to just skip the .NET 3.5 install. But just to be safe, it does no harm to install it. So we go ahead and do that. So now we're headed to Chrome because we need to install the DirectX uh, runtimes. This is actually the crucial step for the uh, standalone LotRo installer from SSG. So we type in DirectX Web Installer. And if you look here, this top one, in this particular case, is the one you want. You can see it says HTTPS www.microsoft.com. These other ones down and below, those are not the ones you want. Those are from third parties. You, you always just want to make sure that Microsoft.com appears right after that HTTPS and not farther along. So we click download. We uh, uncheck this little box here because they're trying to foist the Bing search engine and toolbar on us. We click no thanks and continue. And the X web setup is downloading. It doesn't take long, it's just a little stub. So it's already here. We go and we find where it was downloaded to and we run it. We click I accept, we click next. Again, uncheck this little checkbox here. They are really trying to get that Bing bar installed, which we do not want. So this is going to initialize, tell us 90, 90 megabytes or so, and we say next. Now we're zipping ahead here. And we're done. Now if this were, if we were going to be using the Steam installer, we would have to go and make sure that the 2005 and 2010 Visual C++ runtimes are installed. But thankfully, the standalone installer from SSG handles that fine. So we're just going to go to the LotRo website. Uh, and we're going to go to up in the upper right hand corner there. The go to lotro.com. And click the game. And click download. The PC download button and that standard resolution PC link, they're actually to the same file. It doesn't matter which one you click. Uh, we'll speed this up here so we can download this. Uh, so yeah, it's nice that we don't have to worry about the uh, Visual C++ uh, runtimes for this installer. We double click what we just downloaded and we select English. And we click Next, and Custom, click Next again, I accept, I agree. Now note here, it says we're go it's going to try to install DirectX, but it doesn't actually do that. Now, here we can choose where we're installing it. My only real advice here is, if you have an SSD, install it on your SSD. You can choose where it goes there. Leave Create a Desktop Icon checked. Now, it's probably worth noting here in a moment, uh, it's actually going to say that it's installing Microsoft DirectX, but it actually isn't, or at least it isn't installing it completely. But as you see there, there's the 2005 
Visual C++, and then the 2005 Service Pack 1, and then the 2010 C++ redistributable. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and leave that checked. Click Finish. Would you like to install the high-resolution data files for this game? Yes, we would. Off we go. It relaunches. Now Akamai is going to get started. Akamai is what's used to download the large bulk 20... what? 24 gigabytes, I believe, of data as kind of the, the point release. Uh, and then once that's all downloaded... Well, I'll show you as we go here. Uh, we're going to speed things up. We don't we don't really want to spend all 20 or 30 minutes here watching this download. So Akamai finishes and that's actually all Akamai is responsible for. Now, uh, this what we're seeing here is the client is now going out to the SSG patch servers themselves and downloading data directly from the SSG patch servers. So Akamai, uh, just to be clear, is not used uh, after the initial install, and it's safe to uninstall it, which we'll go through later. So here we go. We are now ready to go after fast-forwarding through, through all that patching. The client actually re probably restarted at least once. There's my username, there's my password. During all that patching, I mean. We click log in. Come down to Landerval. We read it in its entirety and click I agree. We read this in its entirety and click I agree. And we just want to show that this does indeed launch normally, work normally. Keeping in mind that this is actually running on a virtual machine. So you might notice that the character selection screen looks like it's all in shadow. That's just a glitch with the uh, virtual box uh, 3D acceleration emulation. So, but as you can see, it works. So let's go ahead and quit and come out. And let's start cleaning up. Oh, first we got to allow the firewall. So we click that real quick. That's been hiding back there while while the client was running. Okay, now it's uh, time to go uninstall Akamai. We go down to the start flag there. Click the gear. Go to apps. Scroll down and find the Akamai listing. Click uninstall. Uninstall again. Click yes. And you can see there it says Turner Broadcasting System. That is the one for Laro, oddly enough. Maybe back from when it was WB, who knows. Um, we'll get one little final confirmation here that it's been uninstalled and we click OK. So let's go ahead back to the home there and we're gonna click System and come down to Power and Sleep and we're going to set these back the way we wanted. Keeping in mind again, this is a virtual machine and that both settings are not there, but on yours, they should be. Set those to your preference. Now we're gonna come back out. We're gonna go to Update and Security and Advanced Options. And we're going to check this box. Give me updates for other Microsoft products when I update Windows. We do this because LotRo depends upon the uh, Visual C++ runtimes and those sometimes have security updates and Therefore, uh, you need to check that box so that Microsoft will look for those updates as well. Uh, it did actually, we sped things up there, but it did actually install, as you can see here, the security update for Visual C++ 2010, Service Pack 1. And speaking of the uh, Visual C++ runtimes, LotRo, the LotRo standalone S uh, SSG installer, it installs more than it actually needs. It installs the 2005 and the 2005 uh, Service Pack uh, 1. So I usually come down here, you can see the versions on the right. One is 8.0.6 and the other is 8.0.5. I usually uninstall that 8.0.51. So as you can see there, we uninstalled it. We're gonna close it. And very quickly, we're gonna accelerate this. I uh, just wanted to show you that the client continues to work. It doesn't prompt to download the, the any uh, C++ runtimes or anything like that. So everything remains working. That last step, totally optional. Doesn't do any harm leaving it there, but I just like to keep things clean. Um, so, 
we're all set. Uh, there is your lot row fully installed with no issues. Uh, and I hope you enjoy your journeys in Middle-earth. Thanks. <laughs>